Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now this is my first RC blog that I'm making in this channel and this is to show you what goes behind the scenes before I release another video. So let me show you right now what I'm working right now. All right, so here's the floor panel of the Tamiya RC Groveliner and I'm working on making a cover for this hole right here because since this floor panel with the cap of the truck is going to be opening up like this and I don't want to show what's inside the electronics all that I don't want it to be visible when the cap is open so that's why I'm working on a cover to cover this hole and right here I already made a template out of a uh, paper okay and also the other cover that goes into the in the front also made out of paper and just before um, I actually cut the piece from the real plastic so this is the plastic pieces that I already cut out and bend it and here's the uh, other actual piece and on the back I already painted it black okay because this is going to be the bottom part okay and I'm also going to paint the top too uh, also uh, on this one I'm gonna paint it too black but the reason I haven't painted it is because I want to show you on the coming video of how the how to bend it and the measurements and it is easy to see it uh, like this when it's white and much harder to see uh, when it's black so that's why I haven't painted the other side and um, so that is going to go here on uh, on this part right here it's going to be covered and it's gonna look much much nicer once it's, it's finished okay so um so that's that and that 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 piece this piece I mean I have uh, made it from um, from this this is the plastic that I'm using it's hard for me to pronounce this uh, this name polyurethane uh, sheets uh, I know <laughs> I'm not pronouncing it right so uh, but you see right there the name so okay so that's just a uh, hobby uh, hobby plastic sheets that you can use for your hobby models okay right there you can see okay so that's what I'm using and that's the measurements 0 0.50 thickness or 1.00 millimeters and it comes uh, the bag has two sheets and you can get that at your local hobby store okay and that's what this is okay very uh, very nice plastic to work with and um, and also right here uh, once um, that cover it uh, goes right there okay the wires are going to go on the top and so I actually don't want to don't want the wires to be seen from the from the top of the, the cab um, from the driver's seat I don't want the wires to be shown so that's why I have made this part of the um, of the dash of the interior of the of the truck so let me uh, let me move this out of the way okay and so I can show you okay uh, uh, from a better view give you a better view I mean okay so this uh, the two seats go here and on the real trucks there's a space between the two seats uh, inside the cab so this is what this is and in the middle right there you can see there's a hole and that's because all the wires are going to go under and that's going to allow me to hide the, the hide the wires and at the same time um, it's going to be um, able to bend so the wires are going to go under and they're going to be able to bend so the cap and the floor panel can open uh, both of them at the same time without the the wires being visible and um, and being able and also because um, if I run the wires in the middle then I won't be able to lift the uh, cap so I need the wires to be on this side so I can lift the cap the cap all right so that's pretty much it what uh, what I'm working on right now and um, I got other stuff right here that is also um, uh, it's also projects that I'm working also on the side and um, like for example right here um, I have this other bumper of the Tamiya Globeliner and this is because I'm actually um, at the same time I'm also working on the on the hinges so right here uh, I cut this this piece already um, uh, it's not I, I still need to trim it 
because uh, it doesn't go all the way in yet. But uh, pieces like this, I'm fitting them in, cutting them out, making sure that they do fit in. And like, for example, here's one that, that uh, does go in. And I also label it template. So right there, okay. So that's the right measurement. And I still gotta bend it, shape it to the shape that I need to shape it. And so it's a, it's a process. And that, that's uh, another thing that I'm working on the side um, while I'm working at the same time, working on the uh, on this part of the, the build of the Tamiya Globe Liner. And oh, and let me show you also, um, I also made this um, bracket that is going to go right here in the middle. And that's where the uh, MFC is gonna sit and all the electronics, all right? So that one also, uh, I, I made it, I bended it out of a uh, sheet metal, okay? That you can also get at your local hardware store, okay? And um, and like I said, other uh, other projects are also also being made right here. Like for example, right here, I got my son's toy that broke down and it's being glued right here. This piece broke and I still need to repair the, the wheels. And uh, so yeah, a couple things right here that are, um, going on and also if you notice right here i have the back to the future uh, lego um, car which i'm also going to install some lights uh and there's this kit that you buy separately to make make the the car light up uh and to um to give it more realistic look to the uh real uh delorean back to the future car so so a lot of stuff uh going on at the same time and um so yeah, so that's pretty much uh, what's going on right now. All right, so that's it for this first vlog that I made. I hope you liked it. And if you have any suggestions, ideas, please write them down in the comment section and I'll try to get back at you as soon as I'm available to do that. So um, thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.